captain wants you to collect the following parts and bring them to the spaceship. Almec Prime is a world filled with danger. Three factions fight for control of the planet. Privateers, raiders, and the Torvac. Managing to survive in this harsh world where most arguments are settled with violence is key to your success. I have some questions about my objectives. Oh, you just... Okay. Heard of a man who has access to the stabilizers. They call... They frequent a place called the Sassiac Tea House. Goodness, I can read. All right. That seems easy enough. Hmm. Let's just go to the nearest camp. Oh, we can... I, I see. So it's going to give us a breakdown. So this is 200 kilometers away. This is 164, 187, and 140. And then... Ah, drop your main objective cargo here. All right, this is where we're at right now. And then the nearest camp is 132 kilometers away. So let's go for the closest main objective, I suppose. The self-sealing stem bolts. Seems good. Not actually sure how to progress, though. Enter. Um, yeah, I guess I should have done the tutorial, huh? Let's see. Oh, move? Right-click, possibly? There it is. Okay, so this this gives us the indicator of what direction to go. And then, of course, the terrain actually makes a difference as we're moving along as well. So if I remember right, I think, yeah, there will be like these little nodes like this. And then as we're moving into this other kind of territory, I think there's a likelihood that we'll be able to run into stuff like this. Several vehicles approach from the surrounding streets. The vehicles are unmistakably Torvac, led by what seems to be a mad scientist. Can't have a good fireworks display without a few deaths. Okay. So let's remember how to do this. Pause the game like that. This guy, when selected, can right click to target this one. Same here. And then we can use the ability on the Onkelifan. If we take damage, we're able to deploy the leech drone draining HP from the target and giving them to the MC, or the MCV. Also critically important that we deploy our bear dance emotes in the chat for these absolute bangers. I wonder what the target requirement is for this thing. There we go. Lord Vulcan! 13 months on the pile, welcome back! Bear hugs wouldn't be bad either. Thank you for the support. Come back to the pile. Okay, are they out of range here? Oh, snap. Okay, so they're dropping mines in front of our guy on the left. He is out of range of that guy now. I wonder if we can move them up. Does not appear to be an option, which is fine gonna run right through that as well all right shields are down got both targets appropriately marked and Califan's drone is on cooldown here okay so there must be a way for us to move the mcv considering oh it's probably right click in here as well isn't it no i don't think so maybe you can't move the mcv Again, it's been a, a long while here. I, th I think we might just have to accept what comes down the alleyway where it does. We can mark that, we can mark that, we can mark that. Gonna get the regen going again here. That's looking pretty nice. He's done for. Good stuff. You successfully defeated the old goon squad. Find 12 gas, 63 parts, and a light MG. Nice. I could probably equip that on the MCV. How do we do so? I think we might have to get to a camp in order to do that, actually. Oh, here's this in my inventory. Perhaps I can just drag it over. No? All right. 
Yeah, I think we gotta get, a, get to a camp for that. The signal appears to be a Torvac propaganda tower. It promises a life of wealth and pleasure for any person who joins, directing them to seek out the nearest checkpoint. Destroy it. As you move to blow up the tower, several Torvac vehicles approach from nearby streets. We shall not tolerate the destruction of Torvac material. Instantly mark targets for death. Yeah. All right, and I might as well go ahead and use the drone right away. Although I guess that's a bad target. Let's do that. Since this dude's about to be toast. Easy peasy. I suppose I don't necessarily want to destroy them when they're in front of me, but I don't know how much say I'm really going to have in that. It certainly worked out. I binged this game so hard last time I played, I couldn't look at it for a while. I remember having a lot of fun with this back in the day. I'm not really sure. Okay, so I'm... Oh, there we go. You select them and you can move them forward like this. There we go. And then that's the way you can probably avoid the uh, incoming obstacles. Not to mention you could probably do this. Oh, get, get out of the way of our friend's damage, though. There we go. Good stuff. Find some loot and easily blow up the propaganda tower. Good stuff. Picking it back up here. Let's go for those self-sealing self stem bolts. You arrive at the office of Eiffels Incorporated, a large building which probably also houses the actual production facility surrounded by an electric fence. It looks exceptionally well defended. The fence has auto turrets positioned along its circumference. You see signs indicating a minefield and heavy vehicles patrol the perimeter. Before you can approach any further, someone attempts to radio you. Welcome to Eiffel's Incorporated. You've been cleared for a meeting with our chief executive officers. Please approach our facility on foot. We shall provide transportation at the gate. We wish you a pleasant stay. There's, there's no possible world in which this is not a trap. But I will allow it to take place regardless. You're taken inside the building, brought to a conference room, and told to wait. Look around. You look around the room and spot several graphs, pie charts, and figures depicting the current financial state of Eiffel's Incorporated. Since they have the monopoly on self-sealing self stem bolts, say that seven times fast, they're doing quite well and have a projected profit of around 12 million parts per month. Additionally, you find a shipment list that states when and where deliveries of stem bolts will be made on Omic Prime. Swipe it. You swipe the shipment list and proceed to wait. Eventually, two slick-looking businessmen enter the room. Greetings, sir. My, my, my name is Samuel Eiffels, and this is my brother, Maxwell. We welcome you to our fine establishment. Is it safe to assume you're here to acquire some of our stem bolts? Naturally, we have many customers for our esteemed stem bolts. Of course, we may be able to strike a deal if you're willing to pay more than our other customers. We think that 1,500 parts sounds like a fair price. Well, that's simply too much. How unfortunate. I'm afraid we won't be able to lower our price. That would hardly be fair to our other customers. I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere for your stem bolts, then. You know you have the monopoly. Quite right, I suppose we do. We realize your desperation, considering the state of your spaceship, and we are not unkind men. So we have a little endeavor for you to accomplish. In return, we'll provide you with stem bolts. Eiffel's Incorporated is always looking to expand, such as the corporate life. There's one particularly problematic individual standing in the way of progress, however. We'd like you to head over to this individual and persuade them to part with the deed to his land one way or another. Your methods are none of our concern. Very well. We'll supply you with the coordinates. You let out and return to your convoy. As soon as you left the area surrounding the office, you take a look at the shipment list you swiped earlier. A large transport of self-sealing stem bolts will be traveling through the area not long from now. You should be able to ambush it, but it's likely to be defended. Alternatively, you could get the deed to that land. I feel like we're probably not going to be able to ambush a transport at this point. I suppose I could get that later. I don't necessarily have to go immediately toward it. Let's see if we can find some other advantages first. Probably head this way. Yeah, I think we need a couple more guns first before we take that on. Maybe restore our HP as well. 
You arrive in a small, decrepit hamlet. Assuming the information your crew member overheard is accurate, the Sasiak Tea House should be around here. You come across a tramp stumbling across the street, loudly singing a song about a fair city where the girls are pretty. He must not be from around here. Well, I mean, I gotta talk to him. Well, go on then. Have at me with your biscuits and Rosie Lee. I don't want to live anyway, not in a brewing world like this where the rich get richer and the poor get purer. Explain you're looking for the Sasiak Tea House. That's where Andy and his brew crew hang out. Anyone in their right mind would want to go there is beyond me, but suit yourself. The tram points you in the direction of the tea house. After some time, you find it. A large neon sign sits above the entrance, depicting a woman daintily sipping from a teacup. Some sleazy-looking man wearing smart, casual apparel and a variety of hats hang around the entrance. I mean, we gotta talk to the men, too, don't we? Gosh, gosh, goshy, gosh. Well, this is clearly worth it, just to read that. To what do we owe the extreme pleasure of this surprising visit? I bet they know about the stabilizer. They look at you with questioning eyes, one of them looking particularly dim, before they say, Well, it stands to reason you'll want to speak with Andy. He's inside the tea house now to ginger himself up for tonight. The heck does that mean? The Cecilia Tea House has furniture shaped as scantily clad men and women. Teacups and saucers strategically placed to cover their naughty bits. Loads of people in various states of intoxication are sprawled across the floor, tables, and stools, clearly serving high tea. You're led to a youthful-looking man with almost cherubic features. Hi, hi, hi there! Goshy, gosh, gosh! At last we meet, my name is Andy. My brew crew tell, tell me you lead a big convoy and are in need of a hyperdrive stabilizer. It's been a while since I've seen some lashings of the old rough and tumble, which is where you come in. If you provide me with the excitement and joy of combat, I'd be happy to give you a stabilizer in return. I consider myself somewhat of a law keeper, so let's dish out some justice. Let's do that. Let us traverse these wicked wastelands and kill us some evildoers. Andy follows you back to your convoy, where he hops on happily and starts entering coordinates to your map. Where are we going? I've been meaning to find a privateer base in the nearby area for quite some time now. They've stirred up a lot of trouble. A squad of privateers I know is part of this particular base, We've been, and they've been spotted. We need to head over and discover the location of the privateer base. I was just going to take you to help out with my thing, but... Welcome back. All right, I guess so. Kafka! Thank you for the 41 months founder of the channel good to have you back yeah i'm doing doing pretty good appreciate the resub thanks for the bear hugs as well i am the dusk rider a fuel injected out of control murder machine okay and we'll just see about that fella all right back to positions here get them to target this guy. Moving on back right there. There we go. All right. And then our drone. Oh, they got the ramming speed, huh? Viranus! Hey, with a 42 as well. Welcome back in. Appreciate it. Bear hugs. Change target. Change target. Ooh, they are hitting hard. Going right for the MCV, man. Okay, hold on a second. This is apparently out of... Oh, we gotta move it back so it can shoot past the MCV, of course. Of course! Which means I should probably... Oh, hold on. Gotta go for that. There we go, and then moving up. Change the target. There it is, good stuff. Probably have the drone up soon. Oh, hold on. Want to get caught? Got a lot of HP back there. Nice. And a super heavy railgun. Ooh, yay! That might be exactly what we needed to give us the edge. Giant railgun that does massive damage and ignores shields. Its targeting sensors are somewhat lacking and can miss smaller targets. Let's get that bad boy installed, huh? Nearest camp. 
Definitely an FTL like, yeah. Furinus, thank you as well for the 42. Appreciate it. Back to the road. And there's the camp. From behind some dunes, a pack of Torvac vehicles approach your convoy ready to attack. Try to intimidate them to back off. Evacuate on our moment of triumph. I think you overestimate your chances. Yeah, we are going to make a, a pretty significant upgrade soon for sure. You look like the target. Go ahead and get that drone going again right away. Hey, hey, hey I was going to say AK, AX, close to it. Welcome on in. It's time for the start of our return to convoy. What's going on here? Is he not? Oh, we got to move you up. Okay. There we go. You finish him off. Uh, you you finish him off first, and then we'll bring you up here, and you do that. There we go. That HP situation up there is not so great. An old Azog. Oh, no, that's sleepy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my God, a heavy plasma blaster, too. This is fantastic. Very effective against armor, does relatively little to health. Welcome back. Zen Fiero. Nice. Thanks for the 69. Welcome back. Give him some bear nice and bear hugs, please. Let's get our upgrades installed, dude. Sick. All right. So we need to open this guy up, right? He's got three more slots. We're going to go boom. Boom. No? What's the deal here? I assumed that we had a limited supply of space for these things, but I can't tell what is prohibiting it specifically right now. Hmm. Perhaps if I did this. Oh, is it? Wait a minute. What the heck? Did I just do it wrong? No. What is the difference here? Oh, these are these are different. They're vertical, but I think that might just be because I didn't slot something in there. Yeah. What's going on with this? Oh, are these these might be? Oh, uh, I think these are weapons for the for these guys, right? And not for the MCV. That's probably what it is. So, okay, so if I want to confirm this. How the heck do I switch to the... There we go. Okay. Just the very specific things they wanted me to do. Uh, is that just an open third slot? No, I think that's different. Okay. So. Should probably replace... One of those with the blaster, I'd, I'd think. That seems better. And then, more than likely, need to just spend the money on repairs here. Get these guys back up to full. Okay. And then, don't necessarily need it here. Could get some armor. Could get some armor. There we go. Armor for these guys? I like that as well. That's a good use of bolts in my mind. And then the shop. Ooh, here we go. Turbo. That's fun. Oh, an additional car. Yeah. And then we can give it a gun. Cool. Now we have a third car. That's outstanding. All right. There you go. You can have some armor, too. A little range. 
If you give a car a gun, it'll want a glass of milk. That's my favorite children's book. If you give a car a gun. Seems good. What's the taunter do? Causes anyone targeted by it to fight back. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, let's go for... Let's see whatever this is, actually, just out of curiosity. See how our new squad handles it. The decrepit semaphore tower. Its shutters still seem to switch in a fixed pattern. Turns out the tower was bait as several vehicles appear on your radar, moving in to attack you. Retaliate! We're ready. Come on up here, buddy. Okay. Immediately target that. You immediately target that. You immediately target that. We've got our super heavy railgun available now. Let's go ahead and give that a go. Target this guy. That was good. Wow. Okay. So we've got the delete one vehicle button now. That feels great. Goodbye. Got our targets. Looking good. Haunter is up and active. He's ramming again. Thankfully the drone is sucking out that HP, and yeah, we're looking good, dude. See ya! Tower's still operating. Judging from the equipment inside, you suspect this tower to have been part of the larger number of Murray Six Shutter Optical Telegraphs. You haven't seen any other towers, though, making this lone remaining tower all the stranger. After a thorough investigation, you find the tower has been automated to repeat a single message indefinitely. You're not sure what it means, but the message is GNU Terry Pratchett. It would be possible to take the equipment apart for parts, although you're not sure if you should. This is a reference, right? I remember people mentioning this back in the day, too. I don't know what the reference is, though. Ah, oh, it's Discworld, okay. I feel like I should leave it be. You leave the signal to repeat forever and head back to your convoy, satisfied with the fact that a man is never dead while his name is still spoken. Beautiful. All right, let's see. We might be able to take on the privateers now. I think we still hold off on the... Uh on the ambush for now. A big red barrel has stood in the middle of the road. You're right in front of it. Boy, I want to shoot it. Boy, I want to shoot it. I'm the streamer. I gotta shoot it. The big red barrel explodes in a fiery blast of destruction. You should have known better than to shoot at it. Yeah, that's fair. Opens dead bird bag. I don't know what I expected. The signal is coming from a raider base of operations. You spot several crudely drawn signs warning people to keep out. Some of them depict mines. Enter the supposed minefield to fight the raiders. As your scanner picks up multiple readings of mines, you realize the raiders weren't lying. They saw you coming and move in to engage. Oh, quite the contrary, my friend. All right, got to be very careful of mines here. Let's delete one of the enemies again. That was really fun last time. You go over there, and then you... Got to come up this way. God, that's incredible. Deleted. One down. We'll launch our drone here and suck up that HP. Get you up this way. Feeling pretty good here. I would like it if he didn't die in front of the MCV, but I don't know if there's much I can do about that. Let's go over this way, I guess. I'll wait for him to go away so I can get over that side. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that's better for me, I guess. I'm targeting, targeting. Uh, you need to target this, so you're going to move up like that. You need to move over here. Ah, shit. Oh, no, there we go. That's good. I think. So as long as you move over there and then... I think we got it. Nice. 
Taunter unlocked. Cool. You gather all the mines and convert them into a mine layer. All right. Not going to question that. Good stuff. Still heading for the privateers. This thing, man. Yeah, that's going to be great. I wonder if there's a camp nearby we could put, put those in at. 104 kilometers. All right. We're going to have to do that after the, uh, after the stabilizers, I think. You arrive at the coordinates Andy supplied when he starts saying, Just trees and dark, my brother. Just the spot for some of the old rough and tumble. Look well, you can see the wretched privateers in their scummy ways just now. Andy points toward a distant dust cloud. You discern several vehicles. A privateer raiding party preying on the weak for sport and gain. They deserve to perish. Killing this group won't solve the infection, however. We need to find the source and then kill all of them. Hmm... You tell me, what is wisdom? How strong are they? An enemy's like a tea bag. You can't tell how strong they are until you put them in hot water. Wow. Powerful stuff. Let's track into their base. A wise choice, although a bit less exciting than simply killing them. Onward we go then, toward their filthy nest. Righto. I do feel like I should repair a little. There are only so many to w ways to describe sand, and at this point we've run out. I, you haven't even tried yet. In the distance, you spot some metal glinting in the sunlight. Seems to be a hulking figure wearing what looks like a makeshift plate mail out of spare parts. He's carrying a massive exhaust pipe as a lance and has a steering wheel as a shield. As you approach, he, he adopts a defensive stance and shouts, Have at thee, servant of the dragon! Shoot him? Calm him down. Eventually, you manage to calm him down, although he doesn't seem any less delirious. He explains he's the last remaining knight of the Order of the Wheel on a quest to defeat the legendary dragon. Sounds legit. Having set out many years ago, he's nearing the infamous dragon lair and will free the world from the terror once and for all. Why are you on foot? According to the knight, the Order of the Wheel only teaches its members to construct vehicles out of the destroyed bodies of a dragon. Until they've succeeded, they're not allowed to own a vehicle. That All right, that checks out. Fellow champions, I knew I would find like-hearted people eventually. The man has given you the coordinates of the presumed dragon cave before being ushered to your medical bay. Fun. You're in hot pursuit of the privateer vehicles. As you keep tailing the privateers, your scanners eventually pick up increased activity in the area. It looks like you've found the base. Andy looks pleased, then turns and asks what the plan is. Lure them into an ambush. You lurk an ambush and send a single vehicle out to lure the privateers toward you. They fall for it exactly as planned, which results in you blasting a lot of their offensive vehicles without them having a chance to fight back. This should make assaulting the base considerably easier. Great! You get ready to wipe out the remaining privateer vehicles. That was... clearly ideal. Hell yeah. Alright, let's get our positions reset here, shall we? Oh, baby. One down. Most likely. Move you back a little bit. Get that target. Get this target. Zap! Goodbye. God, that feels good. Get the drone on this boy. Is this all they got? Is this all you got left for me? I'm disappointed. I thought you'd make this a little more interesting. Yeah, that's it, huh? All right. Oh, shit. Watch out. Well maneuvered. Easy peasy, dude. With the final privateer vehicle destroyed, it's an easy matter to flatten the base itself. Andy applauds your effort wholeheartedly. That we are, oh my Darjeeling. Let us return to the Sassyuk Tea House. I'll get you your hyperdrive stabilizer then. Sick. Thanks, buddy. I gotta get to a camp real quick, though. Camp time, please. Camp down, bear tap, sing this song. 
There's someone besides the road frantically flailing his arms. There's a sign beside him that reads, Used Car for Sale. You see a big shape covered by a sheet. As you approach the man, you see he's wearing an oversized checkered jacket and a wide-brimmed hat. He's tapping his foot nervously and explains the car is for sale for 60 bolts. You're not allowed to inspect it beforehand, however, because then it wouldn't be a mystery. I gotta do that. After you pull off the sheet, you see a brand new vehicle. You thank the salesman for his fair deal. Stan's deal. Cool. Well, that's pretty good. Thanks, pal. You're being followed by some privateers who demand they give you or that you give them 40 bolts or they'll open fire. You don't deal with privateer scum. I just got a new car. I welcome the challenge. Yeah, let's put these two together. Put you up this way. Put you up over here. See how this goes. Zap him. Oh, it missed. All right, it had to happen eventually, I guess. Let's see here. I guess we'll do this. Banger, by the way. Let's actually do that. Make sure this guy dies first. Should be able to finish him off fairly quickly. I need to get the targeting going here. Ooh, this boy's real low. I'm in love with that. This is eight years old. Yeah, I can't believe it. This game is ancient by this point, but still definitely holds up just fine. Right over this way. There's another guy down, and then once we get that taken care of, go ahead and swap over here. I'm gonna get this dude out of harm's way for a second. Although, I shouldn't be targeting anything with him either, I just realized. I wonder if I can stop that target. It doesn't look like I can. I guess if I can get out of range, it'll help him. Oh, we can get him behind all the other cars. Yeah, there we go. Then he won't shoot at him. That'll work. This guy's soloing this guy, which is fine, I guess. Yeah, that's working. I need to get you away from where you can target that dude. There we go, nice. He's determined to find a way to hit this thing. Stop it! Box him in! Ooh, shit. Hold on, get out of here. What are you doing? Why can't you move? What the fuck? Get out of there! He won't move! He's immobilized. I'm dead. Oh, he, st oh, he got stunned. Ah, shit. Yes. Not so much for that guy. Glad we never named him. It feels a little less personal, I guess. Oh, I also just realized I'm blocking your view here, aren't I? Of Stan's deal. Here, I'll, I'll move my face once I'm forced to again if we get another fourth car. We got ourselves a Mark IV shield. That seems really good. Probably better than the light MG. Uh, abandon that. Here we go. Let's see. Well, I feel like the shield plus the taunt is a pretty good combination. We'll probably rock that for a while. Camp time. Although, I am realizing now, yeah, that's only uh, equipable on the MCV, unfortunately. I mean, I might as well, since I've got the open slots. Not to mention, mine layer. Nice. Here's our new vehicle. Stan's deal, a.k.a. pick me in chat if you'd like to be... The new stands deal. Probably gonna go with the light rocket artillery on that guy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we don't rock the taunt here. Rock the taunt here. Rock the taunt here. Let's try it for a little bit, see if it rocks me. 
Yeah, that'll do. Let's actually, yeah, let me put the rocket artillery on this guy as well. And then I think we might want to go with the cannon instead of the light MG. Oh, that is a cannon already. Givoli! Joins the convoy. Shop check. What do you got? Turbo, another taunter. Aid. Originally designed as a parking aid. Prevents ramming damage through localized energy fields. That's interesting. I think we're good, though. Oh, we could buy gas, which I don't need. Could scrap this as well. Good stuff. Let's get some upgrades, actually. Mine guard, sure. More armor. Might as well get up to full armor again, right? And then let's see here. Further armor upgrade for this guy. Another armor upgrade down here. That feels pretty good. Let's do it. Let's go for the dragon. Probably a healer car, yeah. Actually, let's hit this first. While nearing the signal, you see a metallic figure trudging through the sand. As you approach, it's clear it's the figure of a Torvac design, some sort of metal man. It must have sustained a lot of damage as most of its inner circuitry is exposed. A crackling voice emerges from its mouthpiece. I've come to help you with your problems. I am the modern man! The metal man's head twitches violently as it emits error, error. Wrong response, rebooting query. Are, are we in a loop? The metal man self-destructs in a massive explosion, damaging your convoy. Checking the debris, you don't manage to find anything of worth. Oops. A group of Torvac vehicles approach your convoy, demanding to scan it. And I can't let you do that. Failure to comply to our demands necessitates immediate retribution. Prepare for annihilation. All right. Holy shit! What the fuck was that? Okay. Uh, hold on a sec here. We gotta set up our start. I guess I can go ahead and lay a mine immediately. Uh, let's target here. Move over a little bit, target there, target there. Oh wait, no, wrong one. There you go, you move up like this. Let's actually have you go there and you go there. Big shots already. This is going well. Ooh, did I shield that? I hope I did. That would have been pretty sick. This guy is gonna more than likely run into his buddy here, too. Pretty convenient. Bye-bye. Alright, good stuff. Bloody Torvac. Chainsaw acquired. Yeah, sorry for blowing out your eardrums there. I wasn't expecting that. An enormous roar shakes you up as you near the supposed dragon cave. Uh, two ominous red lights appear in the distance. The Knight of the Order of the Wheel runs out of your MCV, lance and shield at the ready, and starts charging toward it. The day of your reckoning is nigh! The red lights come closer, and it actually is a dragon! <laughs> <laughs> well, let's zap it. That'll probably work. That's fantastic. Let's go get it. Ooh, yeah, that was a great start. So, we're all the way in the back here, which is odd. Mine layer, obviously, not going to do a lot of good. I think I need to just pay very close attention to... Oh my god, what... Oh, no. 
talk to them. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Hello. Definitely. Here, let's uh, let's switch okay. targets for a bit. He's got some buddies. Oh yeah, he's got lots of pals. That's shield now, I guess. Hmm. Okay, you. We're gonna swap back to this position. Let's get the focus going here. Taunter is definitely not a good idea anymore. Unfortunately, I feel like I need to stay out of the back of the dragon as well, likely to drop some mines. I'm gonna do this just out of curiosity. Did I just mine myself? I think I did. Feels like it. Shit. Oh boy. What is that? Oh fuck. Get out of the get out of that zone of that thing. Clearly don't want to allow that to hit. We almost have one dead. Oh fuck. Move. Move, move, move. Uh good. Okay. Waiting orders. Gotta wait for that to finish and then Sheesh. Orders. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. You need to move once the laser's gone. I think I actually just need to go like this. Oh man, this thing's gonna die. Oh fuck me. Yikes, dude. Let me get out of that laser range. Holy shit. Okay, that's fine. We're good. I don't know what the fuck that was. I think we're out of the range of it, though. Don't mine again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm losing one here. Almost guaranteed. Damn. Sorry, buddy. Can't even get him with the debris, damn. There's at least another one down for them. We gotta get you down here and you over here. I have the heal drone back. Pretty sure you can fire the mines forward. Let's try. Oh yeah, look at that. I hope that helped somehow. All right, uh, you're coming over here. You're coming over here. Jesus. Okay, that's dead. Change, change. Do, do. Dragon's immune to mines. God damn it. That sucks. Okay. Let's have our shield back. Oh, I can mine this guy, though. There, all right, that's helpful. That's better than nothing. Got to get back into range. Could be shield time here, probably. Okay, okay, not bad. We got to get out of that side real quick. Once that dude's dead. There we go. Change to this target and move over. That's okay. That's pretty good. Healing drone is back. I think he might be dead, actually. Yeah, he's, he's boned. Which means we go up and change targets again. See ya. Alright, hopefully he doesn't have a second squad of pals to help him out. This looks good, though. Standing by. Standing by. Do, do, do. Get out of the range of that. Get out of the laser beam. Probably shouldn't be sitting up here, actually. This is a terrible idea. Well, that's not good. Get the drone out again. Move out of that range. Got to be really careful about this guy's position. I 
That's fine. Oh, we got our laser back up. Okay. Nice. Got the laser shot. All right. Now we got to rearrange this so these guys are much further back. It's going to be a lot safer for us. No need to drop the mine again here. Uh, I think I need to move up again. That was very close. Holy shit. Almost there. Go healing drone. Oh, we got it. We got it, baby. Move, buddy. Oh, he didn't get out of there in time. That's all right. Dragon defeated. Let's go. With the final explosion, the dragon is slain. You find some loot in the wrecks. The knight approaches your convoy and thanks you for your assistance. Now what? The knight looks thoughtful and explains he had never really thought about what to do after his quest had finished. Since you've been noble enough to aid his quest, he offers his services to your convoy. Very well. Give me a moment. I'll reconstruct my own vehicle from the remains of this dragon. That sounds like a great idea. That's a pretty good idea. Yes, please. Let's go to camp. And see what the uh, spoils of war actually are. Yeah, that thing is tanky. Holy shit. Let's try it. Let's see how the Dragon Knight works. Engage in combat. I got a new friend. <laughs> oh, snap. That looks like fun. You go right there. You go right there. Let's see how this goes. There be dragons. They're due indeed. Okay, you first. You there. Healing drone deployed. Dragon targeting. Let's move you back and target this guy. Same with you. Good start. Oh, that's weird. Surprising to see them with that kind of firepower immediately. I think I missed my beam shot again, didn't I? Ooh, shit, I think he hit his pal. That ain't gonna work for y'all. Okay, let's avoid the collision there and then go down this way and kill this dude. Wow, that's a lot of firepower. Okay. That's exciting. Get him. Get him. Holy shit. That thing melts. Very short range. We'll hopefully be able to upgrade that, but the damage is insane. Let's draw another name here as well. Pick me in the chat if you'd like to be chosen as our new dragon companion. Pretty sick. You can indeed upgrade the range a little bit. We'll max that out. We'll get some more armor on him too. Why not? So this is two heavy pulse lasers along with a heavy plasma cannon. Good God. No wonder. I kind of want to go with another mine layer. Let's do it. And we'll max our armor out. A little more HP for fun. A little more mind guard, sure, seems good. Get the armor back. Get this guy repaired. That looks pretty good. Let's check the shop. We get aid and another taunter. Eh, turbo's pretty good for these guys. Give this thing a turbo. All right, cool. I think a little bit more shielding here is a good idea, actually. More armor. Shane the Merchant. Shall be our Dragon Knight. 
Any tips for the early game? I never beat this game. To be honest, I'm playing it for the first time in like eight actual years. So my uh, knowledge is limited to the precious few things I can remember. Uh, try getting the knight early, apparently, is a good idea. Because this thing's pretty good. <laughs> Seems like you might just be carrying us to victory here. We're pretty close to the stem bolts. Let's do it. I'm not sure when the last time it was updated, Silver. I guess I could check. There was a major update April 2020. That appears to be the last a renewal. Welcome that there has back. been. Neo Cloud, 30 months. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Give him some bear hugs, please. I actually played a ton of it uh, back when it first released Karma. We've got it on our wheel of games now and happy to land on it today. You arrive at the location the Eiffel Incorporated Transport is supposed to be passing through, according to your stolen transport list. You manage to find an excellent ambush location. Assuming the transport actually passes through this area, it should give you a massive advantage in the following combat. You lie in wait and eventually spot the transport coming your way. You manage to catch them by surprise, gaining a massive advantage. Sheesh, what the fuck, dude? Why is that happening? We're not even taking damage, it's just explosions out of nowhere. Alright, anyway. Ooh. Those look familiar. Big zap. Let's wait for them to establish themselves before we start dropping mines. Get the drone out on this dude as well. Yes, Move this so this guy can target here. Well, that's a good damage so far. On one at least. Yeah, the soundtrack is chock full of bangers for sure. I think we're just gonna focus on this dude to begin with. This is not going very well. Holy shit, their firepower. They're melting the MCV. We're gonna get one down at least. Let's go ahead and drop a couple of mines there. That did not do very much. It's their fucking super shields, man. That is terrifying. We're gonna have to go over here as well. Move, dragon, move, hurry. Oh, he got stunned. Oh, don't let me lose the dragon to a stun right now. Come on, please. Move, buddy. Go, 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 go. Holy hell. Whoo, shit. That was terrifying. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. That could not have been any closer. This was a terrifying fight, man. I'm really glad we waited until we had the dragon for this, or we would have been absolutely fucked. You've successfully destroyed the Eiffel's transport caravan and its escort vehicles. You secure an adequate supply of stem bolts from the transport vehicles, and they should pr prove more than enough to patch up your spaceship. After transporting the stem bolts to your own cargo hold, you get ready to leave. Let's hope Eiffel's won't find out in the near future. Yeah, it seems unlikely. I'm sure they won't have any idea of what happened here. Back to camp. Back to camp. Don't leave guys in the outer lane. Yeah, that's... That's a harsh lesson nearly right there. Get them fixed up at least. Not a lot of repairs needed on the other guys, actually. It's all about the MCV right now. There we go. Alright, that's better. All fixed. Let's look for one of these two. Omnidirectional booster. Nice. Nice indeed. Your best bet is to visit the junkyard in Yakrut. Without warning, you're surrounded by Torvac vehicles. You have no idea how they managed to avoid detection by your scanners. Who could guess? I think I should get this boy near the edge as best I can. 
Let's go down here. Let's go down here. You can already target. You can already target. Let's go for a one shot here. It might even hit this dude inadvertently. One dead. God, that feels good. Double mine action. We're going to wait right there for that one. Oh, no, bear. Dragon's not doing anything either, buddy. Hey, you got to... You gotta help us out with this one. You gotta not drop mines on your own team. If possible, pal, okay? We're gonna want to avoid that. Zap them good! Mm. And again, loot and leave them out on the or leaving them out on the edge. NBD. You don't find anything pointing at cloaking technology. You do get the aid, which is nice. There you are. In the middle of all the mountains. You arrive at the ghost town of Yakrut. Sandblasted buildings loom eerily over the dust-covered streets. The flourishing mining town must have been quickly abandoned when the earth started belching toxic fumes due to reckless mining. You roll up your windows to avoid the pungent gas from entering the cabin. You reach the outskirts of the town where you find a surprisingly large junkyard. I've, I first of all just have to note that apparently the conditions were uh, kind enough to justify having rolled the window down at some point. You pass through a gate that reads, Dunk your junk! As you enter the junkyard, you see a plump young man casting a stream of molten metal into a shoddy mold. While you disembark, you notice the young man has spotted you and is waddling in your general direction. Sorry, sorry, Duresiton. Greetings, he says cheerfully. My name's Tinkerton, but please call me Tink. My father's not here at the moment, but maybe I can help you. Y your name's Tinkerton? Yeah, so what? The young man replies, somewhat agitated. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know if it can be found on the junkyard, let alone where. My father keeps track of things like that. I just smile, smelt, and smith. However, I might be able to smith the item you need. Well, I'm quite the smith. Pretty sure I could tinker one easy-peasy. You say, would you say you could Tinkerton one? If you gathered the raw materials for me, I'd be happy to make it for you. These boosters can reach very high temperatures, so they're commonly made from cobalt alloys. Luckily, there's a Glockadot mine nearby that can provide the materials I need. Bring me a good quantity of Glockadot ore, 50 bolts and 5 gas, and I'll have it ready in no time. Bring me a tangerine, two chimpanzees, and a stop sign. And meet me at the Louvre. That's me uh, doing my best Keenan and Kel intro. Sand, it's everywhere. Damn right, dude. Okay, now hold on. Before we continue to go for the boosters, the sonic screws are actually along this route as well. Let's see if we can find those real quick. The signal is coming from a workshop surrounded by a pretty massive junkyard. Approach the workshop. Avoiding the junkyard, you'll need to continue a bit further to get to the workshop. What? Oh, okay, there we go. Inside the workshop, you find a mechanic working on a sports car. Shooter. <laughs> Shooter and take it. I mean, I, I, God, I wish I was a piece of shit sometimes, because that just actually seems like a great idea strategically. Approach the mechanic. The mechanic notices your approach, wipes the sweat from her forehead, and exclaims, Looks good, doesn't it? You can still shoot her. It's got more potential, though, if I could just get the right parts. Yeah, I need some CCAs to install the platform I want. Look, this thing is pretty killing already, but it could be even better. You're pretty forthcoming. Still shoot her is an option. Better how? She's got two weapon systems. I reckon if I got the right stuff, I could either add another weapon platform or two passive platforms. Where do I get them? Same way you get anything on this godforsaken planet. Kill folks and take it. The nearby area is infested with scummy patrols. I'll fix your scanner to detect which ones have CCAs. Don't kill them too harshly. You might ruin the goods. Killing them harshly. Fight them! I, I, I think we actually have to take that to heart, though. 
Like, I think we can't kill them too badly. We gotta, like, just barely murder them. I'm not really sure how to go about that. Let's head back here, since that dude's dead. Double mines. Oh, that's late. That's all right. My god, that's a lot of damage. That went well. Go, dragon. Holy shit. Holy shit, we are powerful. You find some loot in the wrecks. Search for CCAs. Well, I didn't really pay much attention to destroying them kindly, did I? There it is. Oh, wait, no, that's the ballistic computer. Uh, improves a unit's range. That seems really good. Let's abandon the mine layer. I don't think we need another one of those. Hey, there it is. Nice. That was easy. Could go back and install this thing, but let's see if she gives me something else to use. Oh, wait, no, she's going to give me a new vehicle. Hell yeah, awesome job collecting these. So what can you do? Your call. Right now, Eleanor has two weapon platforms. I can either add another one of them, or I can add two passive platforms. More weapons! Let's get out of here. I never got your name. And I never, I never got yours. Let's get to killing, shall we? That's fantastic. Well, that's good, because we're going to change your name anyway. Pick me's open if you'd like to be selected. Neurosis! Thanks for the gifted sub. Azog, welcome on into the bear pile. A heavily armed Torvac convoy is traveling this highway. One would suspect they're carrying something valuable. Probability of mission hindrance is 0%. Certainly a good time to have picked up Eleanor. Let's see if she can help us out. Do -do -do. All right, this is a good spot for the dragon. Get the spawners right away. Let's actually have it target this guy, and I think I'll have the big beam go for this boy. You need to move back slightly to target him. And see what spawns out front this way, okay? Not too bad. Let me target this thing right now. Ah, oh, you need to actually change your direction you're going here, yeah. Yes, Captain. Dragon's still doing pretty good. Oh yeah, that's working. Big mine hits there, beautiful. MM Maxident! Look how fast that thing is with the turbo now, wow, that's amazing. Love that. Good, good, good. Crushing it. Thank you for the bear hugs, y'all. Appreciate it. We are feeling real good now. There's the damage, dude. God damn. The Torvac transport vehicle is the last one standing. Investigate its content. The vehicle was transporting 154 bolts. That's a great way to increase your net worth by one third. Holy shit. Okay. I do feel we should go back to the camp. Make sure we are ship shape and maybe spend some of those bolts, dude. Let's get everybody repaired. What is this? Chainsaw. That's an interesting one. Pretty sure I want to use leech drone still. Let's take a look at Eleanor, a.k.a. Dave Guy. Rocking the light plasma cannon, light pulse laser, and the medium beam laser. Let's increase that range right away. All the way up. That's always good. Handling. Clearly need that for the dragon. Should have done that a while ago. I don't think there's really any slots for this stuff. Ballistic computer actually seems like it would be outstanding on this thing, but there's no slot for that, obviously. Yeah, in fact, I think the, uh, I think 
Sleepy's the only one that's got a slot for any yellow items. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap this if that's the case. Plus the computer as well. And probably the shield, although that is really valuable apparently. Check the shop real quick. Right, yeah, we've already been here. I chose gun, didn't I? Yeah, and I think I'm gonna be happy for that. I think I'm gonna be glad I chose gun. Hey, Comet. I'm joining us on convoy today. F it, dude. More armor. This dial is very stubborn sometimes. Honestly, I don't understand how to get it to do what I want it to do. More often than not. Like, you'd think you'd just turn it like that, but it, it's very unresponsive to that. Oh, you just click it. That's a lot easier. Silly bear. I misunderstood that the whole free... I, I don't think I've known that since I started playing this. That's very easy, turns out. All right, and then I think we're good. I don't know why I insist on stockpiling so many bolts, though. I'm, I guess I'm assuming that later we'll find some better way to spend them, which has proven true. All right, need to go for the sonic screws. Let's go this way. For bolts equals power, right? Yeah, of course. Found it. The privateer zone. You spot a non-functioning Torvac vehicle by the side of the road. Holy hell, just another free hundred bolts. Cool. According to your data, a Torvac intelligence hub should be somewhere around this area. After a brief investigation, you spot a massive building with the obvious signs of Torvac technology. This should be the intelligence hub you're looking for. Numerous Torvac vehicles patrol the area around it, whilst the facility itself has some impressive looking auto turrets. We can handle it. Before you get in reach to engage the Torvac vehicles, the auto turrets pelt your convoy with bullets. They manage to get a critical hit on one of your vehicles, which explodes in a ball of fire. All right, prepare your ears for the explosion. There it is. Good God. All right, calm down. Maybe... I feel like this is maybe a good spot for me, considering you can see the HP and armor of the MCV anyway. And I just got to get my proportions right. There we go. All right. Let's get our position sorted a little bit. Maybe bring us in closer, actually. There we go. Target's ready. That is a long range on that weapon now. That's pretty sick. Let's do it. Zap one. Goodbye. Big mine shots. I don't think I can actually get through that guy with the drone, so let's do that. Targeting, 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 targeting. Good. Spreading the damage all around, just like we're used to. Dragon is moving now. I love it. We got some serious firepower. Did you just drone your own guy? I think I did, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> oh, is that? No, that might be their drone. Yeah, I don't know if I can actually drone my own guy. That would be funny, though. Do, 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 do. Good what can I, do? I think they're good. That was totally yours. Ah, uh, fuck. Whoopsie. Dude, those mines. Holy shit. That is serious damage. Yes, sir. You defeat all the hostile Torvac vehicles and find some light rocket artillery. Looks like the auto turrets of the facility have ran, run out of ammunition as well. Find another hundred bolts in their data banks, which presumably hold the location where their sonic screws are manufactured. Holds the location of a Torvac sonic screw facility. Surprisingly, it doesn't turn out to be stationary. It's a mobile production vehicle, which presumably needs the vibrations of travel to produce the sonic screws. 
Its travel schedule depicts its current location, so finding it shouldn't prove difficult. Cool. Definitely need to heal again. Yeah. Excellent result, though. 540 freaking bolts. I am loaded. Gas has not been a problem at all, either. Isn't that a Doctor Who reference? Probably. This game's chock full of them. Get the armor back. Fix up the dragon. There we go, dude. Good stuff. Let's get the handling maxed out on everybody. I feel like that'll be really nice. Keep everybody nice and mobile. Literally everything in this game is a reference. Yeah, it feels like it. I had lunch with my new co-workers today. They asked me if I ever walked the Freedom Trail. I said only in Fallout 4, and they gave me blank stares. That's a strange question to be asked. But I, I, I feel your plight deeply, and I apologize. Whilst driving through this stretch of desert, you spot the occasional Torvac drone flying around. Looks like they keep tabs on everything. Oh, you moved to Boston. Okay, that makes way more sense now. There's the context I needed. Um, so, booster's still over this way. Stabilizer's this way as well. Yeah, let's do this. Gaming is mainstream now, right? Yeah, they're the ones who are deserving of the scoff. Oh, you don't know Fallout 4? Pshaw! A Torvac surveillance drone is following your convoy. Shoot it for fun. You blast the drone out of the sky before it has a chance to communicate with Torvac headquarters and get 42 bolts. Sick. This is going real good. And we made it. You arrive at the Sassyak Tea House, where Andy hops out of your convoy and instructs some of his brew crew to retrieve your promised hyperdrive stabilizer. You safely stash the stabilizers in your cargo hold. Andy approaches you and exclaims, It's been a blast! In fact, I've been inspired by our little experience. If you'll have me, I'd like to join you in your adventures. Cool! <laughs> what? Oh, dude. I'm sorry, Cavoli. You gotta go. You, you know when your time has come, right? The, you, you're taking the bench, my friend. Holy shit. Uh, I guess that, sure. Why did it make me abandon something? That was weird. Oh, well. We got one more name to draw, man. Pick me in the chat if you'd like to be selected to replace Big Stone. Let's head for the booster. Wait, did the screws before that? No, they're that way. Okay. This area is littered with vehicle wrecks. You realize it's a popular raider ambush site. Let them come. Let them come. Oh, baby. Okay. Get back over here, Big Stone. I am very excited to utilize you, though. Roger. People reporting. Hey. Now we're moving, dude. All right, focused effort. Holy shit, that was one shot. That's pretty great. We're gonna get you, we're gonna go for the drone there. We're gonna get some mines out once they stop moving around so much. Jesus, the dragon alone. Big mine hits, holy hell. Oh god, I just ran right into that, didn't I? Whoopsie. Standing by. Goodness. Alright. Yes. You go there. Unit reporting. You go there. Hey. You get that. Oh, we gotta move again, actually, okay. You get this thing and finish him off, and then you move over that way. Oh my god! Goodbye. Hey. Zap him with the plasma. See ya. 
60 millimeter cannon. Cool. Moving on. According to Tinkerton, the Glockadot mine should be nearby. Turns out he was right. By a severe stroke of luck, the Glockadot mine is undefended and you're easily able to acquire the necessary ore. Sweet. Thanks. I guess I shouldn't look a gift booster in the mouth. I'm curious what this is, though. The signal appears to be coming from a large black slab in the middle of the desert. I'm sure nothing bad could come of this. Your engineers start investigating the large black slab. What are its dimensions? One to four to nine. One of your engineers suggests there may be more proportions if we're able to look at it in more than three spatial dimensions. Does it have mass? It clearly has mass, easily discovered when one of your engineers tries to topple it. Without proper equipment to measure the mass, the common accepted answer is that its mass is higher than that of air. What is it transmitting? Aside from the occasional radio transmission, which caused you to find it in the first place, your engineers discover that it is exhibiting strong magnetic fields. Ask about the dimensions a, a second time. Oh. Suddenly the slab changes its behavior. It starts emitting a series of sounds which can be converted to coordinates on Omec Prime. Record that data. Cool. It's the location of the hidden weapon cache. Add it to the map. Oh, keep recording that data. A hidden stash of bolts. Add that to the map. Cool. That's helpful. Head to the uh, weapons cache. Sounds good. Yeah, I was pretty close to just bailing on that personally until I just chose this other option again as a joke. You drive past a scorched crater in this rocky stretch of desert. Inspecting the crater, you find three corpses next to what looks to be some sort of broken elevator. The three corpses seem out of this world, one of them being an insectoid wearing a red scarf. One of them, an unusually tiny human next to an enormous sword. And finally, a human wearing an impractical tweed jacket still clutching a pipe. Among the corpses you lies a yellow pulsing crystal. As your engineers prepare to take a closer look at the crystal, your scanner shows incoming vehicles. Rushing back to get ready to fight, it turns out to be Torvac. I'm just assuming they're all references at this point. I'm going to assume that until shown otherwise about every single thing we interact with. Hey. Yes. Lock and load. Yes, Captain. Burn, 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 burn. I'm trying to target the, uh... Yes. The vehicles that show up in the front as often as I can with the laser since they seem to be the uh, quicker ones to hit. Dragon's probably just going to take this thing out on its own, basically. Boom, baby! Hey. Holy shit. Let's go. We have got a yes, strong Captain. convoy now. Ready. My goodness, that was just instant. Goodbye. Your engineers take a closer look at the crystal and conclude it could be used as a rather effective power source. It would take 15 bolts to make the alterations for your MCV to use the crystal as an energy source, but it would free up 30 gas. Ah, scrap it, dude. I got plenty of gas. Nice. 614 freaking bolts. Let's hit this thing, too, before we go down there. You spot several vehicles ready for combat, but a lot of entourage as well. Destroy them all! Finally, a challenge. Perhaps. What can I do? Big zap. I'm just going to try throwing mines out immediately. I'm going to drone this dude. Target, target, target. Wow, yeah, he died. Cool. Yes, Captain. Then do that. Then do that. Dragon nearly 1v1ing this thing. Basically doing so. Don't you drive in front of me like that, you little douche. Right over there, there we go. 
Making very quick work of this one as well. Goodbye. Holy shit. During the battle, all the entourage is scattered in different directions. Rummaging around, you find a taunter and a light MG, neither of which I'm interested in keeping. Unfortunately. All right. Straight through the mountains. Into the weapons cache. Several raider vehicles approach your convoy. Your radio picks up a gibbering voice exclaiming, Ever done the Midnight Fandango bathed in devil blood? Every now and then. Yes. You yes. know the Fandango. Zap him. Dragon. Yes, Captain. Exterminate. Target. Standing by. Target. You. Target. Yeah. Easy. Two mines. Healing drone. He's dead. He's dead. Yes, Captain. Goodbye. I think we even missed our zap this time. Let me out. Get this dude. Get this dude. Get this dude. What can I do? Switch over there. This is incredible. Holy shit. This build is next level. Assuming the information supplied by the large black slab is correct, there should be a cache of weapons nearby. It was correct. That was easy. Okay. Sadly, not a lot I really care about here. Yeah. See you later. Let's head for the parts now. Sure. Oh, was that a big cannon? Did I just not regard it at all? Oops. I thought it was a simple one. There's a foul stench on the wind. Terry longer. Turns out you've already tarried too long. Several raider vehicles, decorated with bodily remains. I think we'll be all right. I think we can handle it. Let me out. Yes. Zap them. Mines. Dragon. Big shots. Ba-boom. the drone out for this guy. Spreading the damage all around. You know how it is. You know how we be. And let's go ahead and let him avoid the damage this way. Perfect. Yeah, that's the same as that, right? Okay. Well, oh, is that what you're talking about? This thing? High damage, long reload, effective against armored targets. I guess I should look at maybe equipping that on somebody. Should I work at margaritas slash bacon pizzas or cheese slash pet for my groceries? You want to live a little or you want to... You want to be standard out in this world? I think you know the answer. Awesome. I have almost a thousand bolts. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Sonic screw is pretty far away, unfortunately. Let's head down for the, uh, omnidirectional booster. Carefully, if you get a thousand bolts, you lose. <laughs> I fully believe that. Ah, one of your vehicles suffered damage. All right. Supercharge the engines. Let's get the hell out of here. I need to re repair Sleepy. I do not like this situation. You can move the MCV, I'm pretty sure. Oh, shit. I'd, I'd feel real silly if that's the case. Let's get you fixed up, Sleepy. I don't doubt it at all. I'm about to find out. Um, so no more yellow things here. I wonder if the shop has any. It does. Let's get a taunter. That'd be great for this thing. Oh, then we need to... Oh, shit. Can I just cancel in the not buy it? There we go. 
I think I'll sell the chainsaw. There we go. That's pretty damn good. Might as well increase the range. We'll get a little more armor there. Give him more health too. That'll be fun. And then... Eh, screw it, dude. Let's spend the money. All the upgrades. Upgrades for everyone. Fully maxed out stats. Damn. That's pretty sick. Let's go. You spot what looked like a huge swarm of locusts. Turns out it isn't a swarm after all. It consists of tiny flying drones that appear to be scanning your convoy. Shoot them. Eventually, these flying drones aren't made for combat, or evidently. You easily blast the entire swarm out of the sky and get 36 bolts. Life just comes easy for this group, I guess. You return to the Dunk Your Junk Junkyard. Welcome back. You find the ore? I did. All right, here you go, dude. Wiping his brow, he continues to manufacture the cobalt and your bolts into a fully functional omnidirectional booster. This should serve you nicely. See, let's see you around, Tink. Okay, cool. Three of four. Let's head for the sonic screws. Hopefully we don't need a bunch of bolts for that. You pass many rocky cliffs whilst traveling through the desert. A great deal of wrecks litter the cliff sides and natural inclines. They look pretty damaged. Before you have a chance to check the wrecks, enemy vehicles are inbound. Let's do it. All right, let's see if I can. I do not appear to be able to move the MCV, which I remember that being a thing. Yeah, I thought that was the case. Or at least I can't move it in the way that I'm attempting to move all the other vehicles. Jesus Christ. That initial damage is so satisfying. Hey. You go there. Let the dragon finish this guy off. You go up this way so you can target this boy. Sheesh! Absolutely annihilated. Wow. Back to positions. No hostiles around, you return to the wrecks and check them out. Nothing there. Damn. Oh well. NBD. Flying now, dude. Nothing stopping us here. Alongside the highway, you spot a quadr Quadinaro Speedway. It looks like it hasn't seen maintenance in quite some time, but the entry ramp appears functional. Attempting to use the speedway would allow you to regain 15 gas at the risk of suffering damage if the speedway is too damaged. Go for it. Everything's going well so far. Multicolored forward-facing triangles surround you moments before you take off, the surrounding landscape turning into a blur. Large quadrants of the speedway are missing, causing an imbalance in the repulsor field. Whilst you managed to keep your convoy on the speedway, rather than crashing off to the side, you did suffer some damage from crashing into the walls. Eventually, you arrive at the end of the speedway and successfully return to the normal road. I wonder where the nearest camp is. There's one right there. Right by our objective. Take the road here. Nice. Raiders appear from hiding places along the highway and move in to engage. Just before the fight, or just before the campsite, but that's probably fine. Move you back a little bit. Let's go like this. Let's go like this and move back to touch. And then we're going to have the zapper target that guy. Mine's for you. I missed completely. That's okay. This dude is like one shot. One shot my ex. That's down, nice. Let's go ahead and move back and see if I can target this boy. That'll work. We need to go over like this. 
A healing drone on him. Or leeching drone, I guess I should say. I'm gonna change to this guy. Open this up. These guys are a little bit tankier. There we go. There we go. And moving over, finish him up. Never mind, we're good. Holy hell. I like our team quite a bit. That's what max stats will do for you, huh? Get them all topped off. Nice. That feels good. Check the shop out of curiosity. Ballistics computer aid to chainsaws. No thanks. Let's get the screws. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess I gotta sold some stuff. Upon arriving at the presumed location of the mobile sonic screw platform, you easily spot a hulking vehicle in the distance. As you approach the mobile platform, you're being contacted on the radio. Welcome to the glorious site of the mobile Torvac sonic screw platform. Please state your business. We were promised sonic screws as a reward. Knowledge of platform location and boldness of statement. Lack of communications regarding this transaction. Please stand by. Ah, screw it. <laughs> Worth a try. It's fun to lie. Waiting orders. Get on hey. up there. You get on up Dip. there. Actually, you need to get a little further, yes, probably, Captain. and then... Dip. Up you go. Zap them. Mine them. Drone them. That was effective. So I think the boss is dead. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Oh, shit. Well, speaking of which. Yeah, all my armor's gone. That's not good. Oh, I got to move this guy out of the laser zone, too. Uh, let's see here. I might have been a little too gung-ho with this. Yeah, let's get this guy. Move back and get this guy. That worked well. Holy shit, our damage is insane. That feels really nice. Let's go for you. We're going to go ahead and switch targets there. Switch targets there. Mines will kill this guy, so let's go ahead and move back. Get you out of harm's way real quick. Oh, shit, don't do that, though. That was stupid. Oh, this guy's about to get hit, isn't he? Healing drone time. Is he really just going to run straight into that? <laughs> All right. Let's see. You need to go over here. This boy's about to have problems, too. Big boom! My goodness. Yes, Captain. Okay. Yes, Captain. You're gonna come over here and target this boy. Oh, I wonder if we can do this. Right over the hill, look at that. Brilliant. Back to positions. Easy money. Easy money. Look for sonic screws. Do I need this? I don't think so. Upon inspection of the platform, you easily acquire an ample supply of sonic screws, which you transfer to your MCV. Great. Great. Back to camp. Let's get that armor restored. Ah, shit. You know what? Let's not even take a gamble. Supercharge out of here. No reason to risk that with so little MCV HP. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's probably good. Back to camp. And that's everything.
I'm feeling pretty confident here, man. This is a very strong team. Oh, hi. You come across a lone man wearing what appears to be a sandwich sign? Seems to be wearing the sign of the Lucky Peacock, the mysterious traveling casino. Since the Lucky Peacock travels all the time, it can be difficult to locate. Add the coordinates. Oh, there we go. As you near your spaceship, ready to fix it up and leave this planet once and for all, you spot an enormous hovering battle machine. You make quite a name for yourself on Omec Prime, fighting the different factions with blatant disregard for the establishment distribution of power. Your meddling in our affairs ends now. Two smaller vehicles move in to flank you as the monstrosity powers up its weapons and approaches. You have no choice but to fight. You have no choice but to enjoy the banger! Chubby Guns! Chubby, remember this game, dude? Because it slaps. Uh, hello? There we go. All right. There's our target. There's our target. There's our target. There's our target. You're going to move right there. You're going to move right there. You are going to zap this boy. That worked. Oh my god, the damage immediately. Get this. I'm guessing they'll go. Oh, they turned off our mines. Shit. Dragon's got that target. We're good there. We're good there. I'm going to move back to open up that shot. We are melting this guy. That feels great. Little dude's going down quick. Oh, the mines apparently don't work on them at all. I think it might be because they're hovering or something. That makes sense. Oh, I'm stunned. Gonna move back a little bit. Open that up. Sidecar is defeated. Holy shit. The deeps are out of goddamn control. I wonder if I can time a mine drop on this before it drops into that zone. Oh man, that presentation is so good. That is sick. Let's target this. Let's target the front and middle. We can already target it. Wow, sick. I think these will hit. They did. Nice. Ooh, we should target the center with the mines, though, because I think we can hit everything. I feel like I probably shouldn't be in front of this guy. I guess we'll find out. Sure, he's got a lot going on, doesn't he? Okay, time for mines again. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Oh, line of sight can't hit. My bad. I didn't realize. Well, I guess they should just target these things then. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah, that felt like I didn't have as much firepower as I could have. Okay. Weird. Watch out for the mines, I guess. Dragon's obviously going to have to move up if he wants to do anything here. But don't do that. Why would you go that way? Yes. Dumb, dumb. Ready. Okay, I think we need to move up a little bit. He's gonna be stunned again. Uh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. You need to move up. There we go. I think that's good. Move over. Move over. There we go. You still got the target. You need to start moving up if you can. You need to move over again. This is kind of fun. I like this phase of combat so far. Let's get these two mines out. Let's go ahead and get a drone on there as well. Um, careful with this. Ooh, yikes. Okay, that's acceptable. And finally, target with the dragon now. That's going to be very good. Okay. Okay. Happily move back here. Moving up. Uh, one. No, actually. No, yeah, that works. That's good. Move back with it. Still getting there. We're, oh shit. No, that's good. Right? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, this is going way better now. Yeah. Much, much better. Let me get the mines there. Oh, that doesn't hit around the area. I thought it did. We're about to take out two of its systems. I 
think I'm gonna zap that middle section here too. Let's get this back and go like that. Okay. Good. Front middle here. Let's go ahead and zap it. Wow, Jesus Christ. Almost there. Nice! Okay. I wonder if that's going to change the phase here, because I don't think I can actually target anything now. That's weird. Okay. Oh, I see. All right. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. I see. Okay, okay. We're going to... Oh, it's going to move back right away. All right. That's good, at least. Let's see here. We're going to go ahead and move back again. Do, do, do. Ram them into it. I haven't really tried to ram them at all. I don't know if I can with my vehicles. Because once I right-click them, it just targets. Yes. Hey. That'll be sick, though. Oh, the mines are back. Oh, right. They don't do anything to those things. I forgot. Oh, that's not good. Let's avoid that. You can go up there. Okay. You need to move back. You need to move back. That hurt a little. This boy's almost down. I think I'm going to go ahead and have the dragon shift to this. Get some mines going on this guy as well. There we go. Shift over here. Get these guys out of the range. Oh, no. He got stunned. Where are the missiles coming from? I think that's this thing. So we do have the right priority there, at least. Yes, Captain. He's just going to have to take a shot. Yeah, that sucks. All right. He's going on the side now as well. Oh, I'm not even able to hit, hit from this thing. Okay. Let's see here. Acknowledged. Mines again. That's awkward. I don't think I should keep him in the middle of that. Might be a little late though. I think with our always oh, stun too. Yeah, he's just gonna have to sit in the middle of that. Jesus. Obviously need to move Roger. this. Roger. Might be able. You know what? Oh shit! Get him in the middle too. That's stupid. That's real fucking dumb. Oh no! That's way worse than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Oh god damn it. Well, I think we might just have to take those. Yep. That's happening. Ready and waiting. <laughs> do a dodge roll, yeah. Ready to uh, we, yeah. Then we just change all our targeting here, don't we? Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of avoiding that. Oh, there goes his buddy. Yeah, that wasn't very smart, was it? You go right there, I guess, right? Okay, and then we're going to move back over here. That'll work. And then you're gonna have to change okay. targets to this. Unit reporting. You move back. Ready to fire. You yep. move over there, actually, yes. and then you target that one with him. Mines are back. Let's go like this. Let's get the drone on that back right part. I hope that'll finish it off. I think I actually might just need to target that real quick as well. Dragon's got the targeting. Roger. There goes that section. Good. We got mobility. Yes, Captain. Change target. Change target. Change target. Hey. Yep, we're good. Watch out. Thankfully, the dragon has tons of HP. Still not too concerned there. Holy fuck. Okay. We're good. He's getting mad, though. He's getting pissed. We're running out of targets very quickly. 
Got that one, good. Our railgun's almost back up as well. Firing everywhere but where we are. Yeah, that was convenient. Railgun obliterated it again. Oh, they're back. All right, here we go. Yeah, we got to focus them, I think. Yeah, let's all get one first. There we go. Oh, shit. You know what? You're going to have to move back here. In fact, everybody move down. Everybody move down. Uh, what if we go like this and then... I think it's a little late for him still. You need to change targets to this thing. You need to change targets there. Oh, wait, is this nearly dead? Very close to dead. I think our mines are back up. I don't think I'll finish it off with that. You need to change to this. Dragon damage has been insane. I love it. Another stun, unfortunately. That ought to do it. There's that section done. Drones up. Dragon moving up. Yes, Captain. Get him. Dragon, get this ass. Come on now. Drone unleashed. You can take the yes, rebel. That's fine. Oh shit. All right. Positioning, positioning, positioning. That's all good. That's all good. Move up and get in range. Wait for the missiles. Wait for the missiles. There we go. Oh, get up further. That'll work. Oh, that's not going to work, right? Do that. And then... It's dead? GG, I think? Oh, God, we're getting a annihilated there, but it's too late! Oh, but there's one more. Okay, one more HP bar. Change focus. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay. Let me move all the way back. Go, dragon, go. It's turning around. That's odd. Standing by. Okay. Okay. Big mine shots there. Oh, is it going to do like a big freaking spinning laser move? It sure is. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, God. Ow. Stop it. Stop that. I don't like it. Oh, God. Gotta keep moving the dragon. Gotta keep moving the dragon. Just kidding. It's fucking dead. GG. Hell yeah. The blinding light and deafening explosion fade out and a peaceful silence settles over Olmec Prime with the monstrous battle machine destroyed. The way is clear for you to return to Spaceship Mercury and finally leave this planet. The collected parts prove operational enough for Spaceship Mercury to take off. You leave your escort vehicles behind. Thank everyone for their help and load your MCV onto the spaceship. One can only guess what will happen to Olmec Prime now that its supposed keepers have been destroyed, but you have no time to worry about it. The next mission awaits. The days of driving a convoy are over. The endless war of Land and Landinar awaits. Big time W. Hell yeah. All right. What a return to convoy, huh? That feels great. Yeah, this, this game's certainly still worthy of its wheel position. Very glad we got a chance to return to this today. That was awesome. That was easy mode, so it's not very surprising that we had so many things go our way. We'll have to probably move up to normal next time. The wheel doth giveth. The wheel doth provide.
Thanks for watching, everybody.